days when he admitted stabbing Mark Sherwood, saying that he really meant uh, that they really met months before the time he told police they had. News 18's Perry Apostolakos is live at the courthouse with the latest. That's right, Jeff and Marley. In Haney's testimony today, he confirmed he thought of Mark Sherwood as a, quote, sugar daddy. But the timeline of Haney meeting Sherwood is now different than what he told police after Sherwood's stabbing. He says they met in April or May, not one month before his 18th birthday, as he originally told investigators. Sherwood's father also took the stand today and denied Haney was living with Sherwood in April or May, since he was living with his son at the time. Haney said today he was, quote, weirded out when Sherwood asked him to stay at his Lafayette home after meeting on a gay dating app and being showered with gifts. But he repeatedly said he loved Mark and still has love for him. After admittedly stabbing Sherwood in 2020, Haney told investigators in an interview he and Sherwood had only been sexually intimate once. Now he is saying Sherwood would, quote, make Haney have sex with him, and Haney felt like he could not leave the situation. Haney told investigators he had gotten home from a trip to Chicago to party with friends in the morning on the day of the stabbing. Now he tells the court he went to Chicago after faking a surgical appointment to try and escape Sherwood. The prosecution asked why Haney didn't leave while Sherwood went to work that day, also questioning Haney, saying he first stabbed Sherwood in the kitchen and followed him into the bedroom, since no blood was found in the kitchen. When Haney was asked if he would lie to get himself out of trouble after admitting to lying to detectives in his initial interview, Haney said no. Reporting live in downtown Lafayette, I'm Perry Apostolakos, News 18.